and welcome back to Sister Cousins. This is Sandy here, and I hope that your day is off to an amazing start. Today, I will be sharing with you some candles. I'm going to actually do like a little demo of candles to see where you get the best bang for your buck, if you will. So what I have here is a candle from Aldi's. And this one is the Frosted Vanilla. It's by Huntington Home, and it is a soy blend candle. Now, Aldi's have these candles for $3.99, and they still have them. I'm not sure if it's just going to be during the holiday season. Probably so, um, but they were $3.99, and they are three wick candles. They smell amazing. Um, I do like vanilla scents, lavender scents, pretty basic scent candles, but this one smells really, really good. And I'll also point out that it has some pretty packaging, like the little uh, detail on the lid. So that's one of the candles. The next one I have is the one that most people go for, which is Bath and Body Works. And this is Marshmallow Fireside, which is the only candle that I buy from them these days. I love these candles. Um, they come out with all different types of packaging for the Marshmallow Fireside. I have one with a bunch of glitter and they just kind of change it up for the season. This one also has some detailing on the top that's really pretty. And it is also a three wick candle and um, it has essential oils in it. So in theory, you would think this one would be better, and it might be, um, but we'll see. The next candle that I have is called Soft Cashmere, and this is from Dollar General. This candle was $5, okay? So first off, we started off with the Aldi candle, which was $3.99. Then we have Bath and Body Works that I believe the original price now is $24.99, but of course I picked this up on the big sale that they had where they were um, $8 or something like that. And then this one is $5 at Dollar General. Again, I'm not sure if this is an item that they will always have or if it's just for the Christmas season, but I picked it up recently. So, and they is it is also a three wick candle. It doesn't say anything about being soy. This one isn't quite as fragrant. Um, the Aldi one and Bath and Body Works are definitely comparable as it relates to the, the output of the, the scent. The, the Dollar General smells really good. It's just not as flavorful or as much of a scent as the other two. And the lid on this is pretty basic. The bottle, the, the uh, jar packaging is pretty basic, but that's neither here nor there, right? If they burn the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn the three of these candles for one hour and let's see how much they burn down. Um, also, I might add that, you know, when you buy quote unquote good candles, they typically will tell you how many hours they burn. The only one of these that tells me that is the Bath and Body Works, and it says that it burns for approximately 25 to 45 hours. Now, of course, as with any candle, they do not recommend that you burn it like that. They recommend that you not burn it more than um, four hours at a time, three or four hours. This particular one says four hours. The one from Aldi says not more than three hours at a time, but it doesn't tell you how many, how many burn hours you get from it. I do know from my experience that soy candles or soy blend tend to burn down faster, but we'll see if that's the case with these. And on the one from Dollar General, the True Living one, it, um, it doesn't give any type of time or any type of warning on it, so... I guess it's pretty much just a given that you know not to burn them for, you know, many hours on end. Now, I've already cut the wicks on these, so I'm going to show you as I light them. I'm going to wait one hour. It is about 8.30 now. So, at about 9.30, I'm going to pop back on and let you see how they have burned down. 
Now these candles all have about the same amount of wax in them. I don't know if you can see that, but they are all pretty much starting on equal footing. I have already uh, clipped the wicks on them. So I am just lighting them. So this is the Aldi one. This is Bath and Body Works. And my bathroom is going to be very, very fragrant after this little experiment. But I just want to see where you get the bang for your buck. So all these, again, $3.99. Bath and Body Works, regular price, $24.99. And Dollar General, $5. So that's what we have. We have them all burning now. We're going to wait till about 9.30, which will be one hour. And we will see where they are at that point. <clears throat> Okay, this is a better shot so that you can see that they're all starting at basically the same level and they are all just starting to burn. Haven't I don't smell any of the fragrance just yet, but I anticipate it's going to get pretty, pretty strong in here pretty soon. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're about 30 minutes into the burn and they are all pretty much looking like they're burning evenly and pretty much about the same. The one thing that I will say, and I think I mentioned it in an earlier clip, is that the candle from Dollar General, it does not have very much fragrance. So the two from Aldi and Bad Bath & Beyond, I'm going to say they're very comparable in their output of the uh, fragrance. Um, but the, um, Dollar General, not so much, but they are burning about the same. Neither of them are burning down any faster than the other, or so it appears. So we've got about 30 more minutes. All right. So it has been one hour and my impressions are that the, Let's start with the um, Dollar General candle. It's pretty much burning pretty comparable to the Bath and Body Works candle. However, there's no real fragrance coming off of it. So I'm going to say this is a complete fail. It's a $5 candle, but in my opinion, not worth it because the fragrance is not very strong on this particular one, which is the Soft Cashmere. So did not like that one at all. So now moving over to the Bath and Body Works. Of course, it has a lot of fragrance. It has the essential oils in it. And it's already, um, the instructions told us we get 24 to 48 hours of burn time on it. It's been an hour. And um, very little has burned down. Of course, you see all the, the melted wax, but that'll solidify. And I do believe that you will get a nice long burn from this particular candle. However, at a retail cost, full price at $24.95, I think that is pricey. Um, when you can get them on sale for the $8 or $6, whatever the case may be, that's your best bet if you want to go that route. However, my opinion is, hands down, this Aldi candle, which has burned down more than the um, Bath & Body Works, you can see that it has gone down further. Um, it is a soy blend, so soy does burn a little bit faster than the regular uh, paraffin wax or whatever. So we knew that. However, this candle is $3.99. So um, even though you'll probably get half the burn time on it, even if you were to get, have to go through two of these, that's $8.00. Whereas this would be the $24.95 unless you get it on sale. So my choice, my opinion, is that the Aldi candle at $3.99 is a better value. The fragrance is wonderful. Um, this particular one, again, is Frosted Vanilla. I feel that it smells really, really good. Um, not, I mean, it's not the same as the Marshmallow Fireside, but very, very similar, very vanilla kind of mild mild scent so i like it and i will definitely be hitting up aldi again 
to pick up a couple more because I was kind of conservative when I bought because I'm like, hey, I'm not sure if this is really going to be worth it, but it definitely is. And again, it has the beautiful little packaging on it. They had all different types in there um, just a few days ago. So if Aldi still has them, hopefully they won't be just a Christmas item and be a regular item. But if if it is just for the holiday season, definitely recommend um, stocking up on those. So that is the end of my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this was helpful information to you. If you are a candle lover such as myself, and I hope that you will subscribe and come back by and check me out again. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. I don't have my candle snuffers, so I'm doing the old-fashioned way of blowing them out. Probably not the best thing, but uh-oh, that's what I'm doing. Thanks again for watching. Bye.